Have you ever looked at an ancient Indian temple and wondered, how did they do that? I mean, those towering spires, intricate carvings, and stone ceilings that seem to defy gravity? There's a reason these temples are called engineering marvels. Let's dive into the real science behind them. First off, picture this. A thousand years ago, with no cranes or power tools, Indian architects called Sthapadis were moving stones that weigh as much as an elephant. How? Leverage and genius design. They used ramps, pulleys, and massive teams of workers. But here's the kicker. Some temples, like the Brihadiswara Temple, have stones weighing up to 80 tons placed more than 200 feet high. The secret? An ancient sloped ramp almost a mile long made of earth and bricks spiraled around the building. Imagine the patience. And then there's the mystery of the temple pillars that sing. In Hampi, in the Vittala Temple, some pillars produce musical notes when you tap them. Scientists have found the granite is tuned just right, but no one knows exactly how the ancient builders figured out the acoustics. The alignment of these temples is mind-blowing too. Most are built so that on special days, sunlight shines perfectly on the main idol. In the Konark Sun Temple, the first rays of dawn pierce the entrance and illuminate the sanctum. This isn't luck. Ancient architects used precise astronomical calculations centuries before telescopes existed. Now, let's talk about carvings. Some temples have sculptures so detailed you can see the threads on a stone sari. That's not just artistic flair, it's engineering precision. Builders used a mix of geometry, mathematics, and a deep understanding of materials. Tools made from iron and even diamond-tipped chisels have been found at these sites. But perhaps the biggest mystery is how these structures have survived earthquakes and monsoons for centuries. The answer? Ingenious interlocking systems. Stones were carved to fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, without mortar, so the entire structure could flex with the earth rather than crack. And let's not forget the legends like the magnetic idol of the Sun Temple or the floating pillars of Lepakshi. Some are explained by clever use of natural materials, others we're still figuring out. So next time you see an ancient Indian temple, remember it's not just a place of worship. It's a masterpiece of science, engineering and art, created by people who combined knowledge and imagination in a way that still amazes us today. Now that's something to marvel at.